one has permission. But based on one user that has the attached group, you can attach a new permission in this group. And this group now has an administrator access in the whole users in the organization. Oh. As you can see, is the big impact in the organization. Hey everyone, Yaniv Hoffman here, back with another video and back with a repeating uh, uh, guest, Felipe Pires. Welcome. Yeah, thank you for having me here again the second time. It's a pleasure to talk to you and to all those people here. And for those of you who are not familiar with Felipe Pires, he's a threat researcher and cybersecurity advocate. We also did a, a video before about file, file manipulation on a malware exploitation. And today Felipe will speak about misconfiguration in the, the cloud, which is the most common today vector for exploitation and penetration. So definitely I'm sure it will be a very insightful. With that said, Felipe, Please start. Yes, today we're going to talk about the, specifically about the misconfiguration on something in the cloud. Basically, I will explain about the same impact. If we put in the, or not putting, but if you're using, for example, the next, 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 and on, when you apply something on the cloud, I will explain how is the impact uh, for the attacker perspective or the penetration tester or the offensive perspective, let's say. Uh, I put in the title, actually, the AWS attack based on misconfiguration, but you can use it not only uh, for the AWS, but you can use it for other different uh, cloud providers like Azure, like you know GCP, or even Okta. Or Okta is not exactly cloud, but uh, is identity provider in the cloud. But you can use it, for example, for a OCI like a Oracle Cloud, because the concept behind of this is almost the same. You explain, of course, we can find a different ways when you talk about the Microsoft, for example, but usually when you talk about the AIM, Identity Access Management, I will explain during the conversation, basically, you can use in the same case. Okay, just uh, briefly information about me. So I'm security researcher and cybersecurity advocate at Cien Segura. This is company is from Brazil. By the way, I'm Brazilian, but I'm talking now from Portugal and I'm research of this, uh, this company. And by the way, I'm, I have a new to share with you. We are creating now the Identity Threat Labs, so we are working a lot. So investigate how the attacker using different hours to explore, uh, you know, identities in the cloud or not only in the cloud, but in on primes but in this moment, more focus in the cloud. And I'm responsible for bringing this knowledge to the, the product team and to helping the company to increase their technology product, okay? And I'm one of the advisors of this company. This is my own company, Black and White Technology. Basically, it's a consulting company responsible for providing trainings about, you know, offensive security, defensive security, or even application security, or implementing DevSecOps future. Many things around, for example, uh, cybersecurity you can find in this company, okay? And I advocate and very active uh, a member of different security communities, as you can see here, like uh, Hacking is Not a Crime, one of the most uh, one of the, co the the community that I liked to explain this concept about the hacking, how important to look in this. I'm a sneak ambassador and a part of the league of the DEFCON groups, and I'm a speaker of the Red Team Village, as uh, my, my colleague mentioned before. So uh, I'm, I talked in the last uh, DEFCON, I, I think it's four or five lectures during the DEFCON, it was a super nice. And uh, if you have, uh, uh, if you'd like to see this talk, you can go to my, my YouTube channel. You can see many talks there. Okay. And if you'd like to write some articles uh, in one of those three magazines, so Pentest Magazine, Hacking Night, and Forensic Magazine, I'm one of the reviewers, and uh, not only the reviewers to the articles, but for the course as well. So, and by the way, I have two courses one about the more attack, and another is about the um, Red Team for Windows. It's a super nice. So if you'd like to share your knowledge, so it would be nice to uh, evaluate your, you know, or to check uh, your article, your content, uh, you can count on me if you need. Okay. So it's simple explanation. What is a threat? Because when you see in the cloud, you need to see the whole picture. Okay. You have, uh, when you talk about the cloud, it's different with you talk about the traditional architecture or even the virtualization uh, tech, uh, environment because it's different. Traditional environment, you have an on-premise, you have an, uh, uh, in the past, you have the hardware, you need to divide the hardware to create in the virtualization environment. And after that, you created this kind of a new concept, of, you know, broken this hardware in different virtual, uh, hypervisors to create a virtualization. When you move it to the cloud, it's different because it's like a puzzle. You have a different services you need to connect between those 
And after that, you do present this application, for example, in the cloud, you need to use, you need to use in different part of this to connect. So because of this is in cloud is kind of different. And, but when you talk about the thread, the thing is, so how you can find a really a thread in the cloud? So this is the explanation about this. What is a thread? This is a potential cause that cause a kind of incident. What kind of incident? Software attack, uh, theft of intellectual property, identity theft. Here, I will talk about in this conversation about the misconfigurations and how the attacker can explore identities, okay? How the attacker can theft of identities. That's the key. Sabotage and information store are another example of the information security threats, okay? So this is a simple uh, explanation. Let's talk about another concept. HVT, or high value target. What's that mean, Philip, basically? HVT usually not only this concept, but many concepts that we are using in cybersecurity come into the middlery. Okay, it's normally, I don't know why, but maybe because of the war or something like this. Uh, uh, basically, when you talk about HVT comes to the US, is usually is a term based on uh, the person or research that any MIGS commander requires to complete the missions. Okay, so you, if if you think about that, so you need to have a target or the high value target. Who is the high value target? You need to think about that during this conversation. It can be a, a kind of critical information or even a system or if it's compromised, can bring a point of failure, okay? So when you think about the whole organization, so think about your organization, who is or who can find or how you can find kind of uh, high value target inside of your organization but think in the cloud you know the puzzle many things to connect so you have more than one so just to clarify if you are an offensive security guy probably you already heard about this kind of concept but in when you talk about the traditional architecture we think about the domain controller is the high value target it's correct but in the cloud is different because everyone can access cloud environment because you have a resource you have an identity and this identity is responsible for providing access in this bunch of research. So right. who is the high value target is the bunch of the, you know, um, resources in the cloud. Okay, so sometimes you think that a TVT is maybe a seaboard level or a, a, a board member, or maybe, maybe is executive or, you know, someone important in the company, or maybe is uh, someone that has a high privilege to access in this organization, okay? Uh, so that's the key. When you talk about the cloud, everyone can be the high value target, okay? Just I will repeat this. So everyone in the cloud can be a high value target. That's super important because the cloud is different, okay? So another concept is an attack vector and attack path, okay? Attack vector basically is a math that the cyber attackers using to compromise the system. So it means that I need to have the vector or the weapon to explore, to gain the access, to have the entry point inside of the cloud, okay? So that's the key. So when you think about the vector, you can think about the malware, ransomware or phishing as a technique to explore, to be in a vector of this environment, but sometimes the human error. So we are talking today about the misconfiguration okay so not only misconfiguration but having a weakening credentials using poor encryption when you need when you need to apply this in some application or some structure so you think if you think about the application security or you know DevSecOps future sometimes you're using to both of this kind of human error like weakened credentials or using poor encryption to apply the rest you know on transit or something like this but not only this but the misconfiguration is the key in this conversation okay so that's this is a kind of attack vector that that allow the attacker you know gain the access collecting credentials and gain the access in the entire environment okay so that's the key attack path is kind of different and not only this but i i i wrote an article here and i can share with you here you can find in my linkedin and you can see in the in the in the description by the way i writing i wrote in an article explain what is exactly in details what what is exactly attack path how you can see how some from the come uh, kind of you know a concept or something like this you can find every information here in my article okay so but basically just to summarize the attack path is the visualization is the map okay that the attacker using to walking 
inside of your environment. That's as simple like this, okay? They need to have the vector, the misconfiguration, and when they, you know, gain the access inside of the organization and they walk inside of the organization, you can see the map. This yeah. is the attack path. Exactly, it's the whole of the vision that you can find. Like this one that you can see here is a simple uh, picture about the, uh, by, by the way, this picture is from uh, OASP risk, not only this search, I'm putting it wrong here in my presentation, but I put in the right way in my article, because you can, if you uh, find in the internet, you can see this is, is from OASP. But basically, this is a kind of map, simple map, by the way, you can see the vector, attack vector, weakness is a kind of vulnerability control or bypass the security controls, gain the access in the environment. And after that, you can see the possible in business impact. Just as an example, for example, I did a phishing campaign. You clicked mm -hmm. it, uh, I stole your credential. This is the where I penetrate, for example, now into the cloud, I log in, I spin off That's like perfect. storage, a virtual, uh, some instance, and then I start to leak data outside of uh, the cloud or i do some of course uh, changes in the configuration yeah. it can be an attack path through the vectors yeah. and weaknesses exactly okay. you mentioned it about the attack the, the vector okay using the phishing you you mentioned it about the attack path so the what is the path inside of the organization and not only this but you mentioned it about the business impact if right. you link uh, you know a, a database or something like this is the expose of the information so if you think about the, you know, cyber kill chain, probably already heard about that. You don't have a time to explain what it is, maybe in another conversation, but the cyber kill chain is the step that you can use into recognize sizing steps. You can have, you know, the weapon, the entry point, you can go the lateral movement. And after that, you can see the, uh, the domain controller, the, the domain controller, no, sorry, the uh, command and control. And after that, you can go to the object and actions in the end. In this case, is the expose of the information of this specifically example. Okay, so that's the business impact in this specific case. That sounds perfect, this example. Okay. Okay, so nice. Let's talk about, so now about the AWS AAM, because we are talking about the misconfiguration. Okay, that's a, a important key here. Just to explain, of course, this, I will talk about AWS, but you can use and not only AWS, as I mentioned in the beginning, you can use it for Azure, GCP, or Oracle, whatever. You need to think about the whole concept behind of this. Just to explain what it is exactly AAM, is Identity Access Management Web Service provided from AWS that to give you the access in the entire research of AWS. This service is responsible for giving you the access in the AWS, okay? There's a kind of centrally management permissions that the controls all researching in AWS, okay? So they you give the control who is authenticated, if it's saying, saying or is who is authorized to access this research, okay? So remember, when you think about the traditional architecture, we have a domain controller, the guy responsible for this access provided this access in, in this specific environment. But in the cloud, you have a DAM service responsible for providing different resources. Remember the puzzle? This puzzle just can uh, work is in the cloud based on the AAM permissions, okay? The services provided from the AAM, okay? So this is the simple example for uh, AWS that you can see. Many, uh, the, 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 the information of the statement is a bunch of information inside of this kind of statement, okay? And important information here is the effect. As you can see here, okay, effect. Uh, if it is allow or deny, depend what is your idea of the, the policy that you apply here. The actions is another important information, includes a bunch of list of the policies and allows or denies something here. And the research, okay, here is a big problem sometimes because you can put in the asterisk. It means that you can give in the permission to access all, all research in not uh, for each resource, that's the key. Sometimes it's more easy just to put in asterisk to give the whole access, but not only I recommend you, but the AWS recommend you. When you put in asterisk, uh, AWS recommend you a kind of warning. It's important, it's kind of a message or similar message like this. So it's important to you looking more deeply for each resource you can give the access in this specific. Here's some example, as you can see here. So the version, here is the statement, the bunch of information inside of this. The effect in this case is allow and the actions. 
based on this specifically server AAM list all based on disaster risk. They will list all information and get all information based on the AAM. And what kind of groups, Philip? What kind of research, Philip? When I mean research is AWS research name or A or N, okay? So here is the key, take a look at this. So based on this specifically policy, as you can see here, policy version, you can see here, I have an access in all research in AWS to list information. Uh -huh. Just this specifically uh, standard policy from AWS, okay? AAM really only access, okay? It's maybe you think it's not a big deal because I just list, I cannot write something or I cannot change it. That's correct. But you can read, you can list, okay? For the enumeration steps, is in, you can use in this policy. For example, you know, to investigate, to list the user, to list policy, to list uh, groups, rules, and many others informations, okay? So, but here you can see the simple example of the policy. This is a JSON file, okay? So nice. So let's suppose now, what is the impact about the misconfiguration? So here we will explain more about the attack. Not only this, but just a simple brainstorm. So to explain about the how complex is a different environment nowadays. So you have a developer team, you have a DevOps team, you have a database teams, you have a cloud team. So imagine your organization or thinking about your friend organization, let's say, okay, you have more than different teams. Each person has need to have different permissions in the cloud. You have a leader of business units. Uh, many people need to have the privilege access or C-level sometimes need to have a specific access and specifically services inside of the cloud. Uh, we have a many work, uh, uh, workers, remote workers, or you know the people works uh, work from home. For example, I'm here in, in, in Portugal. My friend is in uh, in Singapore now, I think, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, so we, we are, you are talking remotely, so that's the the technology. So I need so think about your company. Sometimes you need to enable access from the other guys in another country. So that's the key. This is a kind of different. And not only this, but we have the insider threat. So the people, and this is an interesting thing here, Jens. Uh, sometimes we think that the insider threat is the guy, you know, working in, in the darkness or something like this, but no. You know, they recruiting in, in the open to the internet, not on the, on the deep web, but they, we have a kind of forums that they can, you know, hiring people to open doors in the company. But what that mean open door flips? Not only a really open door, you know, like a house or something like this, but to enable a misconfiguration, you see? That's the key. And you are thinking that's the darkness guy, yeah, no, but no. Yeah, it's, with it's the Woody, you know, like in the movies, but at the end it's regular person that sits, yeah. it's obvious. Yes, yeah. like me, like in you, yeah. exactly, that's yeah. the key. Okay, and if you think this is a simple, simple brainstorm, so what would be the risk impact if one of this misconfiguration or one of these keys exposed it? Okay, and uh, that's the key. So let's talk about the most funny part of this conversation, exploitation based on, on permissions. So um, let's suppose that for these attacks that I explained happened, uh, the attacker or the penetration tester or the offensive guy, let's say, needs to have the AWS key, AWS secret, okay? So they need to have, or someone that would like to uh, to do the same attack, they need to have the AWS key and secret. Okay, this is super important. Um, let's suppose that I gain the access and specifically AWS key or secret. Maybe if you are thinking, so Philippe, how I can get this kind of AWS key? You can ask into the uh, chat GPT, but they will talk, this is a wrong uh, question to do to you. You need to do rephrase this kind of question. But anyway, you can do a crawler on, on GitHub, for example. You probably will find many AWS keys and secrets. The next step, you just to go to the, the the CLI, for example, like me. You put AWS Connect, okay? You can connect in the AWS CLI uh, or Authentic or something like that. Or AWS Console. I don't remember the, the command exactly now, but it's something like this. And you can put in this, you can copy and paste the secret and the um, the key. And after that, you can put in two or three uh, default enters, okay? Because it's the region, is the time, the, the, the time the, the, of the zone or something like this. And after that, you connect based on the AWS key and AWS 
the secret, okay? So just need to have the two mail information. And after that, you can type this command, AWS AM list user. Uh -huh. And not only this, if you see here is denied, access denied because the policy, you know, doesn't allow to access or didn't allow me. Okay. And the second command is AWS list policy. Okay. Didn't allow me. And the AWS list group, they didn't allow me. But maybe you are thinking, okay, how can I do this? You can just put in AWS CLI, for example, um, you know, connect like this. So here is the common, as you can see. This is a simple like this. Okay. So you just put in, for example, how you can connect in AWS. Okay. Uh, or how I can create, I put in this, the article, some kind of suggesting of the command, if you can do this same attack. Okay. For example, how I can create policy, AWS create policy or new policy version, for example, you can use this is the same, uh, path or the same process that attacker will be using in, in your environment if they have, or if they get some access in the environment. Okay. That's the key. So let's think. So I get. Uh, I, I got the access, not got the access, but I got uh, two informations, AWS key and secret. And I typed some comments, as you can see here in my presentation, but something works in a good way because in this case, the security guy enabled the features, the, the policies and didn't, uh, 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 you know, didn't allow me to access the environment. Okay. So now how the attacker can explore the environment. So now I, in creating a new policy, okay? I will create in a simple policy, as you can see here in this uh, picture, you have the services, AIM, as I mentioned in the beginning, what is uh, this kind of uh, resource in the cloud, in AWS in this case, and I, I, I enable two simple actions. This is a, a print screen, okay? But you can just, you can choose what the best you can use. We can use in create policy, or you can use create policy version. This attack happen in the two ways. You can not, you, you don't need to use in both. You can just need to use one. Okay. And if you see here, you, I just put in a, a resource. I put in the asterisk and as you can see here is the, another color, you know, is kind of warning. Remember the message that I, I tell uh, you about the yeah, address yeah. suggest you yes. exactly. It's a wrong procedure, not wrong is a warning. Okay. Nice. If you see here, I creating this only policy. And if you see here, I just put in the effect again, allow, remember the right. actions. I just have a, one single action in the cloud. This only action is create policy version. If you see here in this print, you can see two, but I just need to put in one. Right. I will share just one example, create policy version. And I give the name of this policy I call POC attack module okay and if you see here the resource is asterisk here as you can see here yeah okay the all resource okay next steps i ask to the aws my question to the aws is how i can creating the iam full access policy okay you can just put in this in the in the internet and they suggest you this specifically file okay I creating this file, as you can see here, I put in attacker exploitation and I wrote attacker in the wrong, by the way, I forgot one T here. Yeah. And uh, if you see here, the action, I put in actions, AAM, the asterisk, as you can see here. So it means that now I can have the access, the whole resources in the cloud. And they suggest me putting the organization. It's a kind of macro view of the, you know, you have a, a organization here in AWS. You can see many accounts uh, uh, behind of this uh, uh, or inside of this organization. Okay. So I don't need to put in this organization in this specifically JSON file. But as I mentioned to you, I just copy and paste it from the internet. What internet? From the AWS suggestion. Okay. Because of that, I put in and just copy and paste and put in exactly. Uh, the right way that AWS suggested me. And the research, as you can see, I put in asterisk, another misconfiguration here, the asterisk. I can access the whole. And after that, I ask to the AWS, or not all the AWS, but the Google using the, the AWS reference. So how I can create a new policy version by CLI. And the AWS suggests me this command. So oh. AWS AM create policy version. 
I need to set the R, the A R N. It means the AWS resource name. As you can see here, the name is the policy that I created. You see, remember the only one actions, okay? And after that, I need to set the document. What document, Philip? Attacker exploitation doc JSON. The new document. They will up for the new policy. And I take a look at this specifically flag here of parameter dash dash set as a default. Okay. I type enter and after that, take a look what happened. So the first version is the only one policy. I just can't create policy version. So this is the one only action inside of AWS. But based on this only one checkbox enabled, I can create a new policy version. Then this new policy version, as you can see here, I have the full access in the AWS. So basically based on this attack, I escalate the privilege in the whole AWS just using, you know, uh, type of commands in the AWS. If you see here, the next steps, I set the same command AWS list the user. As if you see here, I can list all users that I can find. New user. This specific. Yes, exactly. All the users, the groups, the policy, the research, I have the whole access in AWS. Okay. Wow. So here, as you can see, I put in the print screen about the what kind of user has this action enabled in their policy, for example. I use I'm using here the Neo4j database. Okay, I'm using an a specific open source tool called cartography. Okay, this information you can find here in the article. Okay. The more information you can find here the about this open source tools, basically how they use it, how you can use it, the same information you can find here. But if you see here, I have one, two, three, four, five, five users, five users that they can suffer this attack. You see these five users. If one of these users has or had the AWS key and the secret exposed to the Internet and I got this information, I can type that attack that I'm showing you now. You see, that's the key. So here it's another possibility because remember, I just used to create policy version. Okay. But when you think about the AAM, you have more than one actions inside of this. Basically, you have a three different, uh, um, let's say, bunch of the, the, the actions. One of these read. Another one is right, and another one, the bullet of the permission is permission management. So based on this, you can, you know, the, the feature research is you can try you enable each one of these actions and you can see what is the impact, what kind of type of attacks you can, you can try. Here, as you can see, I type, for example, attach user policy. So this user, okay, Thor, Thor is on a specifically a, a user. And I tried in this command to add, to attach a new policy. If you see here, here's the policies administrator access. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This policy is from AWS, by the way, administrator access. But for now, this user just has one only policy. This is the Kim saying saying a segura policy. But access, as you can see here, denied because they don't have a permission to use in this action attach user okay in this policy so i try to attach group policy there's another of name of the group policy call it thor lab and access deny why because the user don't have these actions enabled you see attach uh user attach policy attach user i am i'm telling you three different actions inside of this group of the AAM service. So here, as you can see, you have another user, Anna. And I, tr I try to attach a user to Anna from this a new group called Demo Lab. This is the, 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 the specifically group that Anna, you know, is inside. And I type, for example, AAM attach group policy. And I try to set a new permissions from this group. User default is a default user. Okay, so we don't have any important permissions here, but I try to attach a new policy, the administrator access. But as you can see here, I put in here some error because I forgot to 
put in the correct information here. And I try it once again, AAM attach group policy. So this user default is just when you, probably you have this in an organization, when you starting to work in the cloud, you're receiving a, a, you know, a standard permission, no privilege, no permissions, no access in the cloud. This is just a kind of user default in your organization. And after that, the, the architecture is responsible for managing the permissions or the security guy. They need to attach some permissions from you. Depends, of course, your job, your rules, your tasks, and someone like this. But you need to have this action, attach group. Based on this, this user has, Diana has, a permission to attach policy. Based on that, I attach it another policy administrator acts in this specific group call it user default so imagine this impact wow. so user default is the normal access so no one has permission but based on one user that has the attached group you can attach a new permission in this group and this group now has an administrator access in the whole users in the organization wow. as you can see is the big impact in the organization so here as you can see I use a specifically Cypher query uh, from Neo4j again. So attach user policy rule and group. I type this query here, as you can see, and I found the user Thor, a new user, the two user that has one of these three actions. So what I can do now, Philippe, I need to treat these two user basically. That's the action, okay? So, okay, just to finalize, I have a here another example, another action call it put group, put rule, put user is almost the same because attach, you can use attach a new policy, a new group or a new rule is the push is almost the same. You can put, but basically based on that, you can create in your own policy. It's just a simple nomenclature or, like, or names like this. Okay. Here is another example of the open source tool call it AWS PX. And I like to show this picture because as you can see here, I have here nine users, Fed, Anna, James, business manager, Thor, Bill, CEO, administrator. And as you can see here, so we have many actions. As you can see, <laughs> it's complex to manage in the cloud. Thanks. Or uh, you, you imagine of the attacker perspective or the offensive guy perspective or the red team or the you know penetration testing so when you read actions for example six action 16 actions 49 actions it means that 49 possibility to explore your environment amazing and, and you see the entire, so, map, the entire map of uh, this environment with all of the users the policies actions yeah yeah here as you can see you can see for example this is specifically too you can see the users here you can see the permission like support user, AM demo, Thor lab, administrator access, and I am really only access is just a, a policy, a permission. Here, as you can see, user default. Remember when I explain about the attach? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Based on the attack, it was only user default, no permission, but now they have the, the not only the really only access because this only simple permission. But now they have here, as you can see in this green line, they have the administrator acts because of the attack. Huh. Amazing. As, Let's see. as I show you here. Okay, Philippe, is a problem how I can solve, how I can treat, how I can mitigate this. So now I would like to invite you to participate with, with this project with me. So in our in my company, in this moment, we're creating this project called Build With Us. It's a possibility to invite people, companies, to help us to create in this two together, okay? So we have a many uh, advantage to participate in this program. You can create a free access in the cloud. You can test in your AWS environment, in your Google environment, in your Azure environment. You have an one free uh, uh, access, one year access in this specifically tool. For now is one year, but I can tell you that we are creating probably in the next, in the, the second year, probably continue to have the, the community version so you can continue to use is no problem, okay? And of course, you have in the future kind of enterprise version or something like this, but <clears throat> we don't, you, in the community version, we not limited the access, okay? Probably you have the limitation of the one, you know, one or two organizations or one, two accounts, but the features we can use in full access in the, for all features, okay? You don't have any limitations about the features. You can test whatever information you can try, okay? 
and that's the super nice project that you call build with us okay cool. based on that based on that we have the access and the, a specific environment here i have here then one example okay there's a kind of uh cloud environment that you can mitigate you can mainly discover or figure out how many users you have the impact with this kind of misconfiguration what kind of recommendations you need to you know treat in the cloud like for example if the user has mfa enabled or not uh, or the access key lifetime for example many security policies as you can see here i can show you very fast here the global security policies like you know user mfa how many users you have the administrator access only policies to treat how how is the uh, uh, access key lifetime you know the permissions of this lifetime remember the attack is just possible based on the access key or the secret as you can see and the other thing is this uh, access key last used so that's the simple others information that you can find here so based on this specifically securities recommendations you can find some recommendation these tools and based on our conversation now on our uh, attack view perspective you can access here the for example access uh, a path here let me see one, one example here and you can see this specifically uh, attack path okay for example i have one example to explain here to you for example i can create in during our conversation we're creating one attack module for example this one let me see here okay this one so you create now the attack module for you here in this conversation so this guy called jean sakai of course is just a fake name okay guys uh this guy has this specifically permission in the cloud and this allowed to access the x the bucket x3 and this book is at x this bucket s3 has this bunch of uh as you can see here bunch of the actions not only put object but you can see get encryption configuration list bucket abort uh multi part upload list bucket is a different actions in the aws but this one is the impact put object so let's suppose that this user has this aws key and secret expose it you collect this you oh. type in the aws based on this you can put object inside of the bug chest tree what kind of file you can put in pdf malicious remember our first oh, conversation oh, first in the channel yes you remember yes it's just possible happen if the user has this action put object remember put object in the bug test tree you see that's the big and uh, and the, the possibilities or not only this okay but let's suppose this only this another one list bucket the attacker can list many other objects this one get objects they in this case the the attacker cannot you know putting object or install things inside of the environment but if you if you have pii information inside of this bug test tree you have a problem here because the attacker can get objects inside of this they can read information that's the key you see so in the cloud you have many possibilities you have more than one no one we have more than six <laughs> six thousand permissions in the cloud you can see possibilities this is just a permission so imagine Imagine if you put in different services and research together, it's totally complex, you see? And not only just to finalize, you can see your health in the cloud. How is the health in your environment? How is it working in the cloud in your environment? Okay. And based on that, I finish here this presentation. This is a print screen about the same demo that I made. And as you can see here, I just share with you my, my contacts and I uh, finalize here the, the, the presentation. So just to explain you again, to finalize this, remember, so in the cloud, we have a many identities. So you need to manage in this. And usually when you are, for example, for the AWS perspective, you have a very nice well work check tree best practices to implementing the least privilege concepts and many other policies, uh, best practices, and something like this is a big material. But if you don't like to read, no problem. But no problem. No, it's a big problem. I, I know that we don't like. I, I know that you don't like to read manual. I don't like to. 
but it's necessary because sometimes we prefer to use next, next, next finish. Based on that, you have an easy way to work, but the attacker has the easy way to attack. It's right. simple like this based on the misconfiguration in, in, in the misconcept. But is that's it, my friend. Thank you again for this opportunity. And uh, if the people have any other questions, so my contact is here again and they can send a message and I can, uh, it will be uh, a pleasure to answer the, 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 the guys here. So definitely. So first of all, thank you. Thanks so much, uh, Felipe. D definitely insightful. I think miscommunication, misconfiguration uh, today, maybe the number one uh, uh, yeah. vector, uh, while definitely the application are moving to the cloud, private cloud, public cloud. It's very complex, yeah. very easy to make a mistake. Uh, um, and that's an exploit for an attacker. So I think yeah. one, for those of you who are interested to learn more about it, I will leave a link into Felipe website, specifically this article, so you can follow step by step, as Felipe mentioned. Second, as you saw, there is this project that in Sina Segera uh, that uh, allows you to participate as a beta. Yeah. Uh, so for the pen testers of you or red teams or anyone that likes uh, hacking or cybersecurity, that's a great opportunity to learn more about the cloud, more about the, the identities yeah. and objects. Uh, so, so you can play uh, with that, learn by yourself and even gain a lot from uh, uh, that. And last but not least, again, I remind you, Felipe has just opened a new YouTube channel so yeah only the beginning and i think now exactly all, what, whatever you are doing publicly and even privately probably you will publish uh, there so it will be a treasure trove for everyone that uh, is interested in this domain yeah exactly i will share i i in the youtube channel basically i put in for now the same talks in english in portuguese and spanish and oh. I have some uh, other talks there, as you can find it. But I have some, you know, plans for the future. So let's see what happens in this next future. Great. So I will watch. I will be watching for uh, sure. And thanks again, Felipe. And thanks everyone that uh, saw this uh, video. If you liked it or you like to see more uh, videos like this, please leave your uh, uh, comments in the description yeah. and see you in the next one.